The Mii Book P6 is all about simplicity, ease of use, portability, and everything else in between. It doesn't boast itself as a high-end tablet with an e-paper screen. It's more of a back-to-basics approach, but it's not too basic. In fact, beneath its surface, it's running a 300 ppi screen, 28 LEDs, and a quad-core processor. Most notably, out of pretty much any other feature, is that it has an SD card slot, which is something that manufacturers just simply don't do anymore. It's also fully loaded with various applications and, of course, Google Play. So let's dive into this sub $190 bargain e-reader, starting with the UI. One of the main draws to this unit is this thing. It's the display style settings. So they have a simplistic approach ever since Boyu started to make the P line, the P6, P78, the P10, etc. That's all carried over into the MeBook stuff as well. So you have a very simple 3x3 grid, 2x4, 3x4, 4x5 is as maximum as they want to do it. They want to give you as many apps on one screen as possible, but still have it not so jumbled up with widgets and all that kind of fun stuff. You do have have display grid lines and display application name off or on so for example if we do turn both of those off and go to a 3x3 grid and then go home it's actually gonna look pretty plain Jane you can really strip away a lot of the things that really catches your eye and busies your eye and just keep it very very simple there's not even any words there obviously you know we just turned them off but you have to rely on what the images are in order to really guide you through. That's gallery, that's Chrome, that's library. For the most part, it's self-explanatory, but it can get a little bit iffy when you get into things like this. That could be sync, that could be transfer. So make sure you have those names on at least. You don't need the grid, you don't need it to be too jumbled, but it is good to at least have the application name. When you swipe down the top, you get enable A2 mode, which is the speed mode. We'll show you that when we get into videos. You have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, battery saver, and you can change this to 180 degree rotation so if I click on that you can actually rotate the entire thing like that so you can have it upside down this is just for people that have a different case set up want the power button on the other side or whatever the case may be Something that's a little bit buried that I don't really appreciate Boyu doing is that even if you're on the drop down and you go to switch or you go to notifications, that's all well and good, but there's no glow light. You actually have to click on the glow light icon in order to open it up. From here, you only get four choices, off, day, night, and bed, and that will turn the glow light on a little bit. You don't get the actual bar until you do the third thing, and that's finally going over to the glow light bar. So that's just a little bit strange that I know they're going for a simplistic approach, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense not to have a very narrow landscape oriented slider bar. It's just too buried. We'll show you Google Play a little bit later, but I just want to point out this screen really quick. This is a 300 ppi screen, it's a 6 inch screen, and it's not a flush screen and bezel, which means there's less things on top, and there's no Wacom layer, so there, that layer is not there either. Look how crisp that looks. This is in to the upper echelons of good looking six inch screens. You might be saying, well, they're all supplied from e-ink. That is correct. But each individual manufacturer decides what kind of layers goes on top. Protective layers, gel layers, layers that remove more glare, layers that give you a different tactile feel with your fingertips. They have a perfect combination of having protectant over the actual screen itself and not having the letters too far away from the actual surface. This is fabulous the way this looks. It is so crisp, it is so clear, and getting back to the unit itself, yes it has Google Play like we said, so that means the reading experience is only going to be as good as the app you're using. The stock app is quite nice, it's very customizable when it comes to different things like TTS, you can take notes, you can do underlines, highlights, copy, etc. You can also change all the fonts if you click right here. Something MeBook and Boyu does exceptionally well, even for a basic e-reader, is giving you more ways to change text than any other manufacturer. You have the five settings here and the five settings here, but you also have these dots that gives you individual points 
upwards of 100, sometimes 200, depending on what you're doing, the contrast, etc., of ways to change it. You also get bold and italicize as well. Not only that, you can actually go back to typesetting and click here. Look at that. Indentation, line spacing, paragraph spacing, font spacing, left and right up. This is something that you can really just play around with and get ridiculous with. The amount of customization is through the roof on this unit. It really is. And more so, they give you contrast, they give you double, they give you rotation. You can isolate the actual text elements and the picture elements separately and choose the amount of contrast you want each of those to have. There is no shortage of customization on even the most basic of ebook reading apps. Anyone who's watched our content will know that we test PDFs on everything, big and small alike. Why you never want to use PDFs on something this small if this is your bread and butter, so your education, your job, you know, if you go to a construction site and you're the foreman and you're trying to look at plans, don't do it. It's too small. It's very, very small. Can it read it? Yes, it can. It's very fast. It's very snappy. You can choose different modes. You can do pinch and zoom. Everything's really stable, but you just can't read anything. It's far too small to be used as something out of necessity. If you needed to use PDFs, this will run it no problem. In fact, Boy You and MeBook are very good at organizing everything for you. For example, when you go to your file manager and you put different file format files on your device storage, it sorts them automatically. So you can see pictures, there's five of them, PDF, there's one, and there's 19 EPUBs. So every time you put anything in here, it's going to automatically file them into the respective format, which is again, kind of that user ease of everyday use and the simplicity factor once more. Manga, on the other hand, looks really good. And you know what? To be completely honest, manga is mostly impervious to screen size. Does it look better on a 7.8 or an 8 or even a 10.3? Yeah, sure. But the overall density of the screen makes it look quite nice. And if you're reading Japanese manga that is naturally around this size, it's not the end of the world. If you're reading those gigantic North American comic book store kind of flat comics, then no, it's going to be a little bit more scaled down. This is more than enough to get the job done, it really is. And because this is running Google Play, you can sideload in any manga reading app you wish. Now there's a positive and negative to Google Play on the P6 by MeBook. The downside is that it's only 8.1 and not 11 like the 78 and the 10. So that's a little bit of a negative, but the positive is, is that it, it has it. I mean, you have Google Play in the palm of your hand, almost literally, because it's a palm-sized e-reader. Look at that. It's really small, and Google Play is just packed in there. And it's not just the apps. I mean, it's the full Google Play experience. You get all the books and movies and TV, as you would in any market if you just sign into your Google account. So that is a massive plus that this comes bundled with it and it's out of the box. You don't need any weird backdoor workarounds or GSFID hacks. It really is just the full Google Play experience and it is quite nice. You simply just click on something, it goes into it. I mean, we can just say it's the original Google Play all day long, but it is, it really is. Don't let the e-paper screen sway your decision as to whether this does or does not function. If something can function with Google 8.1, Android 8.1, then you can install it and you can play it. When it comes down to summing this reader up, it's not as basic as we made it out to be. It puts on a simplistic facade, but underneath it's everything you're going to need for it to be a fully loaded unit with Google Play on board. MeBook has slowly been advancing their entire lineup to be a full line manufacturer at the lowest possible price. Stay tuned to Goody Reader for more information on everything ePaper related. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.